In this video, I'm going to show you step by step how to set up your Google Analytics account so you can actually track your website statistics. So the first thing you need to do is you need to have a Google account. And then the next step is you want to go to google.com forward slash analytics. Google.com forward slash analytics. So log into your Google account and then go to analytics. When you first get there, it's going to ask you to sign in. And so you're going to sign in with the username and password that you have set up. So I'm going to just plug in that information. And it's completely normal to ask you to log back in here. Once you do that, it's going to ask you to, you know, one, sign up for Google Analytics, add your tracking code, learn about your audience. So just choose under Start Using Google Analytics, select Sign Up. And inside here, the first step you're going to take is your website. Now you can also track, if you have an iPhone app or something like that, you can actually track here. Um, but I'm mainly going to show you how to use this for your website. So your website name, so your new website, um, let's just call it, um, well this is the website we're working on, so uniformsjerseys.com website URL so I always put under my website name I just put the website name dot com website URL put in the www part then under the industry category I would select you know select where it fits in so in my case it's going to be retail or you know it could be consumer goods as well we'll just say retail uh, United States uh, Pacific time make sure you choose the proper reporting time zone it makes it easier for you so you know where it's coming from account name are the top level so uh, you know your account especially if it's a new account it would just be your main domain and if that's really the only domain you're planning on tracking then that's what I would set up so um, data sharing um, used with other Google products and honestly with Google and others that's up to you and then after you fill out that information you need to select get tracking ID once you choose get tracking ID you're going to be taken to a Google Analytics terms of service make sure you go through that and select I accept so choose I accept then it's going to redirect you to an option um, where it says tracking info so um, you can choose where you want to track your data so right now it says tracking is not installed for your domain so under tracking ID it's gonna say subdomains of your of the domain you set up uh, that would be you know store dot your domain that's gonna be up to you you could select that to be on or off most of the time it's gonna be off um, multiple top level domains of this so let's say you have a dot UK version of your site or you have a different option a dot net that's kinda like your site but different then that would be on but we're gonna we're gonna just set that to off here because um, that's a good default uh, display advertiser support uh, that is up to you um, that's gonna be slightly uh, different you can click on that link to learn a little bit more about it but that's if you're using different um, advertising mediums for your site um, at the top level in initially you're not gonna really actually have any of these set up here um, the next thing you want to do is just click on save and then this is your tracking code copy and paste it into the code of every page you want to track so you all you do is you grab this code here so just point your mouse in this box right click and choose copy right click and choose copy and then they actually give you a little bit of in, info on you know where to place this code um, but your code would actually go in uh, if you're using Microsoft Composer which I'll open up right now um, so if we go to Microsoft Composer or not Microsoft um, go into our computer system here and open up Composer which is a software that works on your PC or your Mac um, so let's say you have your website here and you want to install this code so you're working on your website in Composer um, which is an HTML editor you would go down here to where it says source code and right above the closing body tag which the closing body tag has a forward slash on it and it says body you would actually just 
paste in that code. You can just choose right click and paste and that would actually paste in your code onto that website. So it automatically just directly you know copy and paste that code right on in there. So uh, that's one way to put it in there. Um, the other way to get it into your website is if you have a WordPress site. So if I go here to uh, this website here and we'll just log in here real quick. So here we're inside our dashboard. Um, you can come in here to where it says appearance and choose editor, appearance and editor. And on the right hand side here, you'll see different options, but you want to look for footer.php. So footer.php, and right before that closing body tag, you see, you see here this very bottom one, you can right click and paste in that Google Analytics code and then click on update file. So if you're doing this within HTML site like on a squeeze page or something like that, then you would need to add this code to every single page individually of that website within Composer uh, by going down here to where it says source and then pasting that into each and every page. If you're doing it within WordPress, you only have to do that one time um, for it to be considered installed. You can also, un within WordPress, install a plugin. So if you go here to where it says plugins and just choose add new plugin, we can type in, you know, Anal or Google Analytics and type in search plugins and there should be a few plugin options uh, that you can actually choose. So here's one, uh, Google Analytics plugin choose details you can get a little more input on that you can see the average rate rankings and just choose install now and then install it like you would any other plugin um, once it is installed you'll scroll on down here towards the bottom here and go in to where it says um, let's see under settings So under settings on the left hand side, look for the Google Analytics option and it will ask for your web property ID. That's another way you can install it. So I just gave you three options and your web property ID is uh, what you find right in here. So your web property ID is going to be this tracking code um, that you get right here. So this UA um, and all that information, you could just right click and copy and paste that directly in here and then choose save changes once you've done that um, that's going to enable it across all of uh, the pages on your site so if we go back here to Google Analytics um, once that is all done go back up here at the top and we'll click on uh, this information here so go to account list uniforms and jerseys click on the website choose all website data um, it should start showing up here. You should be getting uh, data when you log in the next time. It can take up to 24 hours for you to actually start seeing information on there. So you probably won't see anything um, showing up yet, but I'll show you an example in the next video of how to manage and look at the information that you are provided. So that's, um, in a nutshell, how you go through working with Google Analytics on your website. So that's the first step is to install it. The next step will be to kind of analyze and understand what you're looking at.